And here we go. Yo! What up, everybody? Carver Moses. Time for a little Chinese New Year. 2018-19 Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year. Eight box break, number 13. All right, let me actually grab it. That's what she said. I don't have it. Let me go get it. <coughs> Got him. Went ahead and just grabbed both cases since I got another one to do after this. Oh boy. Alrighty. Jersey G Man, what up? Murphy uh, Murphy K over on Breakers, what up? On my YouTube peeps, what up? Alright. Not much, man. Gonna knock out these eBay breaks so we can work on the store. Got that last case of select basketball. And then we have the uh, two and a half cases of Donruss baseball to uh, to get going. So, Sumi, what up, my dude? How are you? Welcome to the room. Yeah, San Francisco gamer. You know, uh, I have this. I have terrible allergies, man. So whenever, like the weather abruptly changes, like when it goes from eighty-five to like sixty-five out of nowhere, you know, I usually get a little, uh, like you say, under the weather. I mean, I'm not completely sick, but you know, the nose is a little stuffy. So, whatever. I actually, uh, I'm actually going to the doctor in a few weeks. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell her, give me like the full on, like I need X-rays, a CAT scan, like I'm trying to get fully refurbished. You know, hopefully there's a surgery that I can do that can clear up this uh, stuffy nose, which I get like all the time. It's a pain in the ass. I get sick somewhat easily but anyways enough about me what's going on with you gamer I hope you did your homework otherwise I'm gonna call your mom don't make me do that I'm just kidding anyways let's see what we got here well the good old Chinese New Year uh, variation here it does say it on the back of the card right there New Year it's the only variation in this stuff you know usually there's different ones like the lavas the galactics and so on and so forth the emerald canter to 88 so this is an exclusive variation just for the chinese new year but it is very very difficult to get a hit in this i have yet to see an autograph i've done maybe I think this is like my third, fourth case that I've done. And I have yet to see an autograph. Hopefully that changes today. I want to see a gold hollow. You know, I've seen a few emeralds, but I have yet to see the gold hollow. The gold hollows are numbered to eight. Ah, oh, so I'm, I must have you confused with someone else, San Francisco Gamer. You know, we, we do have children in here from time to time.
I have a feeling that we're going to hit something nice. Let's make it happen. Got the weekend coming up. Anybody got plans for the weekend? I have family coming down. And uh, Jason was uh, nice enough to give me Sunday off as well. So I could spend a little extra time with him. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hanging out with the family. Captain Marvel, I think, comes out tomorrow. So we're going to go watch that. I think they mentioned they also want to go to the beach, so we'll probably have a little barbecue at the beach or something. Should be a good time. Always nice when they come visit. But what about y'all? Any plans? Maybe you're going to go see Captain Marvel 2? Maybe tonight? You're going to watch that midnight release. Listen, don't, don't all go, uh, you know, trying to talk to me at once, y'all. Sheesh. Ha ha, Jimbo, ha ha. Well, JMS, I have this case. I have one more. I have, well, the last of it will be done Saturday. The last of it will be done Saturday. And then, you know, you know, you won't have to see it ever again. What do we got? What do we got? Do the Lakers play today? I predict that they won't make the playoffs, you know, before the season started, but I'm kind of feeling kind of, I'm kind of feeling bad. I'm pulling for them. I want to see them make the playoffs. Just cuz. There's an emerald. The Murray Carroll Nets to 88. Yeah, I know they got spanked last night by the Nuggets, but at least LeBron passed Michael Jordan for the uh, for the four spot all time uh, scoring list. 
which I which I find interesting because you know LeBron says himself he he considers himself more of a playmaker than a scorer. Yet he passed Jordan, who is known to be a scorer. But then again, LeBron has played like three or four more seasons than Jordan has. So there's the, there's also that. Yeah, you, you might be right, Greg, and J. Mess. I just like, I, root, I like rooting for the underdog. And at this point, the Lakers are definitely an underdog. The Heat are on, you know, where I think we're on like a little three game winning streak or something right now. We're uh, in the last 10 games, we're five and five. So, you know, we, you know, pun intended, we are heating up a little bit. But this upcoming week is going to be a tough schedule for us. You know, once we play the Cavaliers. Every team we play uh, upcoming this in this upcoming week is either in the playoffs or in playoff contention. So, you know, Eric Spolstra said it best uh, the other day or the other night, I should say. You know, every game from here on out is going to have playoff implications. So, you know, he he has his team mentally locked in. You know, approaching every single game like it's a playoff game. So, we shall see. Hopefully, we can get into the playoffs. I, I, I honestly don't care what seed we get in as long as we get in. You know, I like our chances against anybody in the East, really. We're a scrappy team. We're a hustling team. You know, I'm, I'm also not an idiot. I don't think we're going to win a championship, but... We can play spoiler for somebody. Plus, I, I want to see my boy D-Wade go out in the playoffs. Jamie Lynn of the Hawks to 88. What's going on, Brian? What's going on, Chris Fitz? By the way, I, I already put that thing aside for you. Jason's going to take care of it tomorrow morning. All right, my dude. Redskins and the Broncos are discussing a move involving quarterback Case Keenum. Ew. Oh, snap. Chris Fitz trying to ride that wave. Keep your eyes on the road, Brian. Eyes on the road, man. Migs in the house, what up? Dude, that in-flight Kobe might be in there, man. I mean, I've already hit a few good uh, Lakers. Mainly the Kareem uh, Abdul-Jabbar patch autograph. I think I hit that one at number four last night. I know, right? I, I even I even shouted you out. I was like, wow, that's the one Chris Fitz wanted. But I'm pretty sure you're happy with the 101. All right. This is uh, box six. I mean, five. I got three more. That's the second Luca base card. Jimbo, why would you even say such a thing? Even as a joke. 
you know, somebody out there on the internet is going to be like, oh my god, for real? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Devontae Graham, or the Hornets, the 88. Yeah, I, I already put it down, Fitz, uh, to get it shipped out priority with uh, insurance and signature confirmation required and all that good stuff. So you, you should get it by Monday. You know, I got you. We'll take care of you, Chris Fitz. You know, as long as your name is not Aussie Jim, we will take care of you. The Sixers lost to the Bulls last night? How you doing, Mark? Don't do signature. No one will be home. Yes, sir. Dean King, sir. So it'll ship priority with insurance. You got it. Oh, that's you, Migs, my dog. Bucks have been killing it all year. I think they're still in first place. I just, I don't know, man. I, you know, I just, I just don't know with the Bucks. He's in a much nicer neighborhood. I wish he would, Mark. I wish he would. But then again, you know, I don't go asking for that kind of stuff, really. I'm sure if I asked him, he, he probably would, do, you know, hook it up. But that's just not the kind of person I am, man. I'd much rather, you know, go into my own wallet and do that. That's, that's what I want to do. Uh, I want to go to the last home game for, uh, at least in the regular season. But somebody told me they look like a buddy of mine told me they look tickets up and like even to sit in the four hundreds, which is like close to the nosebleeds, tickets are like in the two three hundred dollar range. I, I don't know if he has season tickets. Uh, I I seriously doubt it. You know, I, I don't think he's. I know he's a basketball fan. I don't think he's a Heat fan, considering you know he's originally from New York. I know he's a big big Jets fan. I know he's a huge Jets fan. Uh, Brian, last I checked, I think we're at six spots. Um, you know, Mark, probably, I don't know. 
I know that he goes to like some like Panini Tops events, like uh, whenever Panini has their rookie uh, showcase or whatever. I think he goes to those events and stuff like that. Well, Chris Fitz, I'm actually going to watch Captain Marvel on Saturday, I believe, is the schedule. Because I got my family coming in tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're just probably going to have dinner somewhere and just really hang out. Because they're, they're driving down from Georgia. Uh, I, I believe they're leaving uh, like at 4 in the morning or, or 3 in the morning or something like that. So they'll probably get here tomorrow around 4 or 5 o'clock. I already know they're going to be too tired to like really do anything. So we'll just we'll go to dinner and call it a night Friday. Saturday is when we're supposed to go to the movies to go watch Captain Marvel and we're supposed to have a barbecue before that and all that good stuff. And then Sunday is is our beach day. Uh so we'll we'll see. I think we're going to go Saturday though. But I'll, I'll definitely let you know. I don't know about that Shazam movie. That Shazam movie looks like a straight to DVD movie. I, I, I don't. I, for one, well, I like the character Shazam. I just don't like the the actor they picked to play uh, Shazam. Captain Marvel, on the other hand, you know, I mean, not for nothing. Mar I don't think Marvel has made like I can't even think what 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 the worst of that uh Marvel universe like superhero movie is the worst. Like I don't think there's one that's the worst. Like they're all great, you know, on their own. Yeah, right? Shazam looks terrible. Like I don't know, man. I don't know what D like D the DC universe is so amazing. Like, I used to read the comic books, and I used to collect, like, the comic, like, the cards and stuff when I was little. Uh, so, dude, I'm, I'm super, in, like, I, like, I grew up on DC and Marvel. Like, that's, you know, that's my childhood right there. So, it's, it's sad to see that DC, for some reason, just cannot conjure up a good movie. Like, literally, every movie that I've, like, the Justice League movie, Batman vs. Superman, like, I've gone to watch it in the movie theaters, and I've fallen asleep. That is not a good sign. Whereas every single Marvel movie I've gone to see in the movie theater, I I wouldn't dare fall asleep. You know, I'm on the edge of my seat the entire time. I, uh, I'll admit, I haven't seen the first or the second Thor movie. I've seen Ragnarok. Great movie. Ah, Mark, you saw that? Kevin Huerter, the Red Mamba? <laughs> I'm probably, on yo, like, all, I've said it for a while now. I'm legit going to cry when D-Wade plays, like, his last game. I grew up watching him. So it, it's, it's going to be emotional for me. I feel like we're best friends. Anyways, let me get out of La La Land here. Well, Brian, I mean, all you have to do is go to the website as far as the National is concerned. Look at the VIP packages because they're all different. So, I mean, you, you don't you don't have to believe me. But go to the, go to the National Sports Card Convention website and see for yourself. A gold hollow something here. Come on. Nah, Mark. Dude, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure D-Wade is going to, like, have, like, a, you know, a, a whole room dedicated to, like, all the jerseys he's gotten. Ricky Rubio of the Jazz to 88.
No, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen that in basketball. I know the jersey exchange is a normal thing in soccer. Or football, as it's really called. I don't think I've ever seen it in basketball until, you know, the, the whole D-Wade one last dance tour. Alright, so this is what we got. We got two Luka base cards. That's cool. We got a Ricky Ruby to 88 for the Jazz. Devontae Graham Hornets to 88. Jeremy Lynn Hawks to 88. Demari Carroll Nets to 88. And Ennis Cantor the Knicks to 88. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you.